Today in this random household project, we will be making small containers made from two water bottles and some duct tape and an empty Starbucks cup. For this random week weekend household project, we are going to need a water bottle. Well, two water bottles actually. But uh just they're not supposed to have any water in them, so I'm gonna drink that in a minute before I start. Uh empty venti uh, empty venti Starbucks cup and a strip of duct tape and of course we'll need some scissors all sizes and probably my Swiss Army knife. So that's all of our except for this product. I don't need that either. So this is all of our supplies for a random week of product. Why do I have like one of these? So that's all we really need, okay? Because I don't want this water to go to waste, I'm gonna empty it into a cup. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Don't throw the water bottle away yet. We're still gonna need the top and the cap. So put that aside for now, back with the other. And on the other hand, I'm gonna have to unload this one. Now we're gonna be able to take the water bottles and we're gonna have to cut along here. This will be videoed in a second. For this, I'll take my Swiss Army knife out at this time and make a nice cut up a, almost at the top of the water bottle, but making sure it's not identically on. A little above the water bottle should it be easier to cut through. If it ever gets hard, stop. You know you've gone too far up. Now that it's popped off, we should clean it up with some scissors. These smaller scissors will, will do better because they are not as big and ginormous swinging everywhere. So if we cut this along the edge, we have to make sure, uh, the cap came off or whatever, we have to make sure it's as round and nice as possible. So I think I'm just about done, just gotta clean up these last ones. And there, that's what it, the last one should look like for the problem should have its cap on, like this. So that's what it should look like, and now we can set that aside and repeat it on the opposite bottle. Okay, I cut off the last one, and it's done. Now all we have to do is cut back the Starbucks cup, which is over here, and put it in the middle and wrap it up with some duct tape. Start with the Starbucks cup by using your knife to go near the bottom, but not on it. But go to the very easy point, which should actually, not too easy, but pretty easy. And now you have to cut a little hole in it like this and slide it along a little bit. And now it will have a little hole in it. So then we can take the ginormous scissors and cut it in. If I can ever fit them in. The hardest part is fitting them. Okay, good. We got them in, and now all you have to do is cut along and make sure not to go over. Oh, come on, come on. Why not? It's very difficult with the bigger scissors, so if you want to do it with the smaller scissors, and if you have better luck with the smaller scissors, then use them. Use that to your advantage. So we've just about popped off the top, which we just did. And I think popping off to a whole nother meaning when I say that. So we're gonna cut a little hole right here to the B, to this little B on the cup. It's the B right around here. No, wait, right here, right over here. And we're gonna cut up to there. And then we're gonna go all the way around like this and make sure not to go over this writing and come back down. So I'm gonna cut that out right now. Now that I cut it out, it's not very smooth, but we can um, cut that back to size and we first have to measure the size of this though. So once we do that, we should cut along the sides that are too big. Okay, I rounded up the 26, or our number here. So now we can place it on top of both bottles. Now this is where the duct tape comes in. I've already stripped a little bit off of mine to make the first one that we ever made. So we have ours like this. So we should put it down in front of us. Like 
cero. Like this. And now this duct tape had already been ripped part of it off, which is okay because we need it. So we'll take the smaller scissors, should I add, and we'll cut a little line in the middle like that. But this tape, I can just peel off like that. So we got two perfect lines, another one for if I'm ever going to do this again. So I can put it back on. Oh, wait, it just slid out of place. Just make sure it doesn't slide out of place. So I'm going to put it on first like this, and then put another one on like this. And then I'm going to wrap it around, obviously, like this. Just make sure it doesn't wrap up too crooked, like mine kind of did. Now once you've got it wrapped around, press on it really hard everywhere. Now it should probably be, it should be done now actually. So, nowadays it won't come out, and you can open it up with both sides. And they fit snug into place, and they're waterproof, even. Okay, well, that's a random household project. Thanks for watching, guys. It's the iPhone 4 and more. Subscribe if you like this, and if you want more. It's the iPhone 4 and more, and I'm out.